Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and stay tuned by clicking the bell icon. Coronation Street Spoiler The Baileys are left devastated. Desperate to get away from his problems and Tony's threats, Aid secretly packs a bag and tells Aggie that he is coming to spend Christmas with her in Birmingham. As Ed opens the front door, he comes face to face with Tony, who menacingly barges his way into the house. When Aid's phone rings with a call from Aggie, Tony threatens to tell her everything. Ed makes a grab for the phone, but Tony punches him, knocking him to the floor. In the bistro, Michael shows Ronnie and Sarge the watch he's bought Ed for Christmas, engraved with the words, For the World's Best Dad. Our hero. Ronnie reckons it's perfect. The Baileys return home to find Ed nursing a cut lip and all the presents gone. Dee Dee calls the police and Craig goes over the details of the burglary with Ed, who says he forgot to lock the back door. Meanwhile, when Peter reveals that he's got a support group meeting later, Carla offers to go with him. At the support group, Peter admits that he's lost all interest in life and every day has become a chore. Carla's left deeply concerned and heartbroken to realize the depth of his despair. Michael calls at the factory to find Carla busy on her laptop. When Carla shows him the Christmas present she has bought Peter, Michael's flabbergasted. Elsewhere, Roy confides in Cassie that he has located the Christmas present for Evelyn. Cassie insists that she'll accompany him on his shopping trip, but when the Woody won't start, Cassie comes up with a plan. Also today, Jenny and Daisy tell Dee Dee that they're off to the bank, hoping to secure a loan to buy the Rovers. Back in the cabin, they break the news to Brian and Mary that the bank agreed to the loan and the pub will soon be theirs. Jenny explains to Daisy that Waterfords have received another offer on the pub so they'll have to submit a sealed bid. Finally, as Paul and Gemma head to No. 5, Paul's wheelchair breaks down on the street. Gemma and Paul finally arrive at the concert in Victoria Garden, only to find it over. Gemma's gutted, but with some persuasion from Glenda, Joseph agrees to give an encore. Chesney calls at the flower shop flat for Joseph and the quads. Gemma's gutted, wishing they could stay longer. If you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and share.